let's go in for the taste test. Hey guys, I'm Myra and today we're making orange chicken from Panda Express that's low carb and keto friendly. Stay tuned so you see which one is mine. Okay, so we're about to get started with our panda. Okay, this is gonna be a copycat. We have the original version right here. We're gonna put this little baby aside. We're gonna close them up and we're gonna start on our version. So this is gonna be obviously a homemade version. It's gonna be so much healthier for you in so many different ways. Um, the original has 60, about 60 grams of carbs. Ours is gonna have four, okay? Okay, so we have all of our ingredients laid out here just to make things easier. We have our sweetener and we're just gonna kinda go down, go down, like it doesn't really matter in which order. So this is our ginger, powdered ginger. Then we have some xanthan gum. So xanthan is a thickener and um, I will show you where you can buy it. And then we have our chili flakes. That's just for the spicy life. You can kind of control that. If you're not all about spice, you can just do like a few or just omit it all together. So this is our orange zest, which we just pulled it off of a real orange. And that gives it so much flavor. Like you actually, I would not skip on the orange because mine is orange chicken. <laughs> Don't skip that. And then we have our garlic powder. Now that we have all of our dry ingredients, let's just kind of give that a good mix so they're evenly distributed throughout. And then we will add in our, our wet ingredients. So we have water. This is our rice vinegar. And I'm gonna show you um, where you can get everything. Um, I actually, it was really simple. I just ordered all of my stuff. They all came here to my house. It was like, it just makes it so much easier. This is the coconut aminos. Then we have our, this is some orange extract, but you can also use fresh orange juice. Okay, then we have some sesame oil. And guys, some of these ingredients, like the sesame oil, um, I feel like they're very, very crucial to the flavor. So if you can, I would not, you know, I would use all the ingredients. Um, if you really just wanna get that authentic flavor. And then this here is actually blackstrap molasses. And um, blackstrap molasses, for those of you that don't know, it's how brown sugar is made. So if you have brown sugar or you have a brown sugar substitute, then you can omit this, but this gives it like a really rich flavor. And um, I know you're probably like, where do I get this? I'm gonna show you right now um, so that you don't have to even worry about it, okay? So right now we're just giving it a good mix. We're gonna set it aside. And this is actually gonna go on the heat. And once it does, you're gonna see how thick and like beautiful this sauce turns. Let me show you really quickly where I grabbed all of my ingredients. All right guys, so I grabbed all my specialty ingredients from Thrive. So the coconut aminos, which is obviously Thrive brand. Um, the xanthan gum. So this one here is the thickening agent. You can use them for a lot of the recipes that I have on the channel. They have things like a really clean version of like a Kung Pao chicken um, sauce. And then there's like the general chicken sauce. Um, yeah, like these Funyuns, I don't know if you guys remember Funyuns, but these are a low carb Funyun version that I'm actually pretty obsessed with. For those of you that don't know, Thrive is an online membership market super convenient, literally delivered here to my door. You're guaranteed a savings. Right now they're offering you guys a 25% discount and you get a free gift with your first order. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Check them out. All right guys, so I'm gonna put this away and let's get started on our chicken. We are going to cut our chicken. This has already been washed, we dried it, but of course, you know, it does um, release water, so. We're just going to dice it. You're gonna um, pretty much cut it to your desired size. You always wanna cut them about the same size just so that they cook evenly because if you have some small pieces and then some bigger pieces, the little small pieces are gonna burn. Okay, chicken is cut. So now the next step, you crack your eggs into a little bowl. So we're actually just gonna whisk our eggs. You can do one of two ways, okay? So we're gonna season the chicken. You wanna season your chicken because there's obviously no seasonings on here. We do a little salt and a little pepper. You can add a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, like if you really want to, but 
the sauce has so much flavor that you really don't need it. You just for sure need your salt and pepper because you don't want bland chicken. Okay, so this is our protein powder here. So this is just plain unflavored protein powder. Here's some crushed pepper, okay, and our salt. So you want salt and pepper in your protein powder. And then just give it a good little mix so that it's, you know, just distributes throughout the protein. This is gonna give you a super crispy, crunchy chicken, okay? We have our chicken, we have our egg, and then we have our protein powder. So what we're gonna do, just to kind of save time, we're actually just gonna throw our egg right onto our chicken. And you can do individual, but it's just gonna take, it takes a lot more time. And I wanna show you guys that you can also do it like this. So we have our baking sheet. We're gonna put a piece of parchment and then our cookie rack right over it. And so this is where I'm gonna place my little chickens once they are coated, okay? So we have our chicken and our egg, and now toss it into our protein. So I'm just gonna do this one slow for you so that you see. Just gonna toss it. Okay, so let me show you what it should look like. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and place this down and finish these off, so. Okay, so our chicken that's cooked, this is the texture. This is what it's gonna look like when it comes out. But look at this, guys. It is crispy, perfect. So we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna make a super, super quick fried rice to go along with it. Forgot to show you guys um, while it was still frozen, but this is just one of the frozen packs. I grabbed the big bag from Costco, microwaved it for two minutes. So what happens is it releases a lot of liquid. So I don't know if you can see that it's like juicy. It has water, so. You don't want, you don't want it. You don't want to do that. You have to drain it. Do not skip this step or else you're going to end up with like a mushy rice. And who wants mushy rice? No one. So as you can see, now it's pretty dry. Okay, this is how much liquid I got out of our little bag. So if you're making a bigger batch, then um, like if you need it for, I would say this is good for, I don't know, it depends how much you like. I mean, I could put in this whole thing. So I would say like, um, if you're gonna feed like a family of four or something, then you would just use a couple more bags at least and do the same same process. And so here's a trick. So we all know that like holly rice is not gonna give you the texture of like white rice. So there is this konjac rice. Um, Joycey got this one at Walmart. So if you see this brand, it's it tastes really good. Like, well, it has no flavor, but the texture is not like, it doesn't, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it. If you see this one though, grab it and you're gonna mix it in with your rice. So we have to do the same thing. Let's just go ahead and drain this. This isn't hot. This is literally just straight out of the package. So we're just draining this too. You don't want liquid when you're making rice, okay? Cause all that's gonna do is give you chew, uh, like mushy rice. So we don't want that. We have our, our Kali rice and our Konjac rice. So let's move over to the stove and I'm gonna show you how these two make a fried rice. <laughs> All right guys, so we have everything served. I mean, doesn't mine look so much better? I'm super, super excited and happy at the results. I feel like they turned out amazing. 
And now for the taste test. So we have it already served with our little fried rice. And I love spicy. So we're going to just put a little bit of sriracha right there. Oh yeah, guys, 10 out of 10. The sauce, 100% spot on. The texture is crunchy on the outside. It's juicy and tender on the inside. The sauce is like a sweet and savory with a little kick because of the chili flakes. Seriously, it just all comes together so well. If you miss Panda Express, go make this right now. Go grab the ingredients because I'm telling you, it is so worth it. You guys are really, really gonna be happy with this recipe. Um, this is one of Nati's favorite recipes. The team loves it. We're actually about to sit down and have lunch together, but I'm gonna leave the link, the, I'm gonna leave the recipe linked in the description below. That's gonna take you to lowcarblove.com where you're gonna be able to print the recipe along with exclusive recipes that I don't share anywhere else. So make sure you check that out. If you still want a little more of me, make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. And if you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to share this with your friends and family that are Chinese food lovers or that you know are gonna be obsessed with this panda copycat. Guys, thanks again for watching. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah. Now we are about to go and enjoy our panda copycat.